travel benefits are good, with built.in systems and complementary space. After traveling, he became the director and married a petite wife. A rural boy is thriving in a courtyard house. Chapter 1. Return to hometown to meet parents. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 2. Heart to Heart Talks. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Didn't you say that? Lin Fong is still at school and we don't have time to take care of her. Besides, Fong Fong also has to take care of her grandmother at night. Song Xiao Xiao let out a sigh and hugged her head, saying, It hurts so much, please be gentle. Actually, personally, I don't want Fong Fong to go over for the time being, Lin Jinsi said. Why? Because you don't want her to disturb our world together. When we have a child, let her come over and help us take care of the child. Lin Jiansi chuckled and said. He only needs to know about the future. I definitely can't talk nonsense. When the strong wind blows in the future, the whole country will howl, who can guarantee that there will be no problem. Do you really think you can dodge like a shrinking turtle? I think too much. The strong wind blows not only the bourgeoisie and imperialism, but also various outdated ideas, cognition, and even customs and habits. An identity can blow people away, just like a sentence can be blown away by the wind. So, Lin Jinsi has basically given up hope. He is destined to be the one to be blown by the wind, so he has been pondering the future and really doesn't want Lin Fong to follow him. It will make me happy, Song Xiao Xiao smiled. Lin Jinsi laughed and said, this place is the wedding house in our hometown. We can't just be so ordinary. Upon hearing this, Song Xiao Xiao wanted to refuse and take a break. After one night, Lin Jianxi and Song Xiao Xiao got up early and took Song Xiao Xiao to stroll around the wheat fields in the village. This is the first time Song Xiao Xiao has seen a wheat field up close, and he is even curious. I couldn't help but lie on the ground and watch up close. Is this flower? Lin Jianxi pursed his lips and said, Comrade Song Xiao Xiao, let alone know me. I'm afraid I can't afford to lose this person. Song Xiao Xiao laughed and crossed Lin Jianxi's arm, saying, Husband, just tell me. Lin Jianxi nodded in satisfaction and said, That's pretty good. Then he pointed to the wheat field and said, When it grows and matures, it becomes wheat, but wheat cannot be eaten directly. It needs to be peeled and ground into flour. Do you know? Song Xiao Xiao's face lit up and he said, So it's like this. I thought it would grow into flour. Lin Jianxi listened with a big head. Song Xiao Xiao, who is so indiscriminate, makes him feel very happy. However, this is caused by the growth environment and there is no way. Some people have been in the city since birth and have never had the opportunity to see wheat and rice. How can one understand just by talking? Subsequently, Lin Jianxi and Song Xiao Xiao returned home. At this moment, Lin's mother was cooking, and Song Xiao Xiao rushed over to help, but was kicked out by Lin's mother. Jianxi, mom doesn't want me to help. Song Xiao Xiao was discouraged and was kicked out yesterday and today he was kicked out again. Upon hearing this, Lin Jinsi smiled and said, Don't worry, the relationship here with the mother.in.law and daughter.in.law in the city is completely different. In rural areas, there is not much emphasis. If the mother.in.law is active, as long as they are not separated, they usually rarely let their daughter.in.law cook. Upon hearing this, Song Xiao Xiao was surprised and asked, can we still do this? Lin Jianxi chuckled and said, in rural areas, there are no idle people. When you have nothing to do, it means that it has no effect on your family, and only retirement is left. For example, if I finish all the work at home, my dad will feel uncomfortable, which is a symbol of him as the head of the family. Lin Jianxi said, the most crucial thing is that you are the daughter.in.law who lives at home for two days. It depends on where you need it. Song Xiao Xiao said, okay. 
During meals. A big family sat around a table, happy and lively. Lin Laoeo doesn't talk much, and Lin's mother occasionally shows her daughter. In law, the dishes eat more, eat more, look at how thin you are. Jianmin and Fang Fang are still young and have no right to speak, but they felt the atmosphere at home was so good for the first time, and couldn't help but envy their sister. In law, even more. All of this was brought by my sister. In law. Song Xiao Xiao really likes this atmosphere. There are no intrigues and struggles in the courtyard, only the closest relatives are by his side. He can relax both physically and mentally, making people feel a complete sense of peace of mind. This is the feeling of home, right? Although we have our own small home in the courtyard with Lin Jiansi, our lives seem deserted, with no family around us. Now with a big family, parents-in-law, aunts and uncles, the old lady is warm and harmonious. Song Xiao Xiao feels that this is the home she is looking forward to. Equally happy was the old lady, who looked at the children and grandchildren around her and smiled at the wrinkles on her face. Unfortunately, the happy time spent with family goes by quickly. Three days have passed in the blink of an eye. Song Xiao Xiao could only follow Lin Jinsi and was reluctant to leave his hometown. Mom, I'll come and see you when I have time later. Song Xiao Xiao pulled at Lin Mama, the corners of her eyes turning slightly red. Girl, let's go. What's at home? It's better to be in the city. Come back and take a look at the two of us. Lin's mother was also a bit reluctant, as the two to three day encounter made her extremely satisfied with this daughter. In law. Brother, sister. In law, remember what you promised me. Lin Fong reminded. Don't worry, brother, remember. Lin Jinsi naturally knew what Lin Fong had reminded him, didn't he just want to go to the city? Grandma, Dad, Mom, we're leaving. We'll come back and see you all, Lin Jinsi said goodbye. Go, go. Lin Laoeo felt a bit sad. This time, his son came back with his wife, adding a lot of fun to the mundane home. I don't know when I will be able to come back after leaving. Finally, a group of people bid farewell to each other, and Lin Jinsi finally sat down on the Great Liberation. Jing Guqiang slammed the accelerator and left with a loud bang. The Lin family members who left a nostalgic expression on their faces. In the afternoon, Lin Jinsi returned to the courtyard. Husband, I really liked the atmosphere in my hometown. As soon as Song Xiao Xiao entered the room, he felt the coldness and emptiness inside, and couldn't help but say. Do you want to have a child? Lin Jinsi smiled. No, it just feels like your parents are nice and like Lin who lives with them. Speaking of this, Song Xiao Xiao's eyes lit up and he said, Husband, why don't you bring your family over? Song Xiao Xiao thought to himself, wouldn't it be enough to bring his family to the city? There is no shortage of food at home, even if all the family members come over and are not registered in the city, Song Xiao Xiao feels that it is not a problem for her husband. When the time comes, the whole family can live together, it's so enjoyable and harmonious. Upon hearing these words, Lin Jinsi smiled bitterly in her heart. How does this make him explain? If he could pick it up, he would have picked it up long ago and still used her as a reminder. After thinking for a moment, Lin Jinsi said, Little, it's not that I'm not answering, but there are many things you don't know, so let's wait a few years and see. If there's no problem waiting for a few years, I'll bring my family over and they'll live happily together. After listening, Song Xiao Xiao thought to herself for a moment and said, Hmm, husband, don't think too much. I just casually talk about it. As long as I have you with me, I will be happy. Upon hearing this, Lin Jinsi hugged Song Xiao Xiao tightly and then said. Xiao Xiao, take a break at home while I go to the factory to take a look. Song Xiao Xiao knew that Lin Jinsi was the cafeteria director, and there were so few things like her, so she quickly said. Well, go ahead. I'll prepare dinner for you tonight. Lin Jinsi kissed Song Xiao Xiao. Then leave. But I didn't go to the factory. But I went to the warehouse arranged in the factory and put in the necessary grain and meat. 
Finally, I entered the space directly and began practicing my own eight extremes fist. These days, Song Xiao Xiao has been following and watching at any time, which has caused him to not practice well. I naturally have to double my cultivation to come back. This practice lasted until evening when Lin Jensi appeared in the warehouse sweating profusely. Sihiyuan. Song Xiao Xiao was about to cook when he knocked on the door. Song Xiao Xiao thought it was Lin Jensi who had returned and quickly ran to open the door. Upon opening it, I realized that it was Yuli, the daughter in law of Teacher Yan's house next door. Upon closer inspection, Song Xiao Xiao's eyes were still red. Hello, Song Xiao Xiao politely asked. Hello, Xiao Xiao, right. I'm the daughter in law of Yan Jichen next door. Can I come in and chat with you? Yu Li Chiang forced out a smile. Well, come on in. They are all women, so Song Xiao Xiao naturally has no defensive mentality. She has also heard from her husband that she is a good girl who only marries the wrong person and enters the wrong family, feeling helpless. As soon as Yuli entered the house, her first impression was that the life of this family was really exquisite. It was so clean and neatly arranged. Xiao Xiao, your house is really clean. At this moment, Yu Li's mood was completely attracted by the decoration of Lin Jensi's home, and the unhappiness in her heart also faded a lot. No, it's just packing up casually. Song Xiao Xiao is very happy. This was arranged by her and her husband together. Song Xiao Xiao led Ken Yuli through the living room to the kitchen and started cooking. At this point, Song Xiao Xiao was no longer cooking meat and vegetables at home. If he wanted to eat meat, Lin Jensi would bring it back directly, so there was no need to be cautious. Yu Li stared curiously at Song Xiao Xiao fetching water to wash vegetables in the kitchen and couldn't help but ask, Xiao Xiao, are you directly connecting the water pipe to the house? Song Xiao Xiao nodded and said, yes, then there's no need to compete with others for the water pipe. Yu Li was a bit envious and said, you're getting married to the right person, little one. Song Xiao Xiao nodded in agreement and said, Jensi is really good to me. How is your husband treating you? Upon hearing this, Yu Li felt extremely sad and said, Oh, I just can't bear it. That's why I wanted to come talk to you. Upon hearing this, Song Xiao Xiao's soul of gossip instantly ignited. That's great. I'm alone here and no one is talking. I was just looking for someone to talk to. It is said that women's relationships are built instantly, whether it is true or not. Song Xiao Xiao and Yu Li confirmed this point, one intentional and the other intentional, and their relationship rose rapidly like riding a rocket. By the time Lin Jensi returned, the two had already become best friends, talking about everything Yu Li complained about her husband's wrongdoing, while Song Xiao Xiao shared the same grudge and explained to Yu Li how her husband treated her. And told Yu Li, this is the good man. Yuli told his father dot in dot law and mother dot in dot law about their scheming, and Song Xiao Xiao was full of anger. How could there be such a scheming person in the world? Then tell Yuli about the feeling I just saw my mother dot in dot law. Tell Yuli, this is the feeling of home. When Yuli told Song Xiao Xiao that she still needed to pay for her meals and housing, Song Xiao Xiao was already like an angry little cow, clamoring to split up. Chapter 3 Luck. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Co Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 4. Rewards. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Co Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 5. Contact. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Co Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 6. Careful Care. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Co Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 7. It's Stupid. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Co Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 8. Library. 
You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Tron Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 9. Return to One's Own Nest. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Tron Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 10. Direct Refusal. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Tron Quatrin Lay Text. 